Hello everyone, welcome back to our third age let's play series on version 4.5 of the high elves. Without further ado, let's get into it. So we've kind of just been getting battered over and over and over on Boozer Doom. And we're looking fairly depleted, but we're looking pretty leveled up, which is kind of nice. There's this five stack here. Uh, five stack won't really be a worry, especially since we're going to have our armory done very soon. The last siege kind of destroyed um, us being able to build our armory because it, it it seems just from our experience in this playthrough from the last one excuse me I'm hiccuping um, from the last one that when we're building these armories and stuff if we get sieged it delays it so we gotta keep that in mind because we tried quick building it just for the siege itself last time so we got a couple little things we got to build in a couple places because we're trying to boost um, our income as much as possible because the barracks event is happening you know as we speak and so we should all be able to uh, get some pretty cool characters like yep see we have some nice characters unlocked just on that first tier of buildings and so we can start getting our much better much better places so we're gonna have to start uh, building up so first we're gonna build up under towers in the other place because we want them um, as a nice little defensive stronghold so we have an armory there we have just about no one there though that's the problem so what we need is we need to send Elven warriors. a small army and we just did get Sarad, Sarad Ithrin whatever his name is and so that'll be really good mercenary units higher long shoot that's funny okay I'm kind of curious so we got Calicundi Lords that's kind of like the default it seems for the high elves which I'm really enjoying he's actually got pretty good stats just for right off the bat nice okay so we'll send these three guys over here And we're gonna recruit out of here some Calaquendi Lords and some Linden Longspears. We'll do that for now. And Boozer Doom needs some characters too, so we're gonna send over uh, some over there. So we're gonna leave uh, we're gonna leave this looking a little sparse for now. But that is okay because it is pretty far in the back and we do have the tier 2 barracks if I'm correct yeah militia armory perfect we have a couple other places that gives us militia but I'm not too worried about it so as long as we can just get those units to these couple other places they'll be much more secure because Enid Waith even though they do bring decent stacks as long as we have a general and just like four or five like okay units which pretty much any unit that comes out of the high elves faction is at the very least decent just because they put out such high tier units um and Enid Waith is very meh so we can honestly just we have like five decent units in each uh, place we're more than likely unless they somehow muster a 20 stack you know we're gonna be fine and considering how many times we've beat them back already I seriously doubt that they're gonna send a 20 stack anytime soon so we're just gonna keep rocking it for now Orange Hall besieged. New mission. Okay. So they want us to block more ports. That's fine. So we'll click C. Okay. So they want us to block over here. We actually do have a um, ship somewhere down here. We do. Ready. Yep. We're gonna go over here. Set sail. Let's see. It wants us do 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 signal fleet to blockade this port for at least two turns, one only heard. Alf code. Okay. Is this the Alf code port? I wish it told us, you know, what port it was. Let's see, where does it perfectly center on? I feel like it's centering like right here, or right here. But we'll we'll try we'll try doing that. Okay. So with that, these guys are probably going to die. 
That is totally fine. I'm okay with that. I mostly just want, um... Let's see. I kind of just want those units, um... To call it to drop off anyways because I don't really want to pay for them very much. I just want the uh, the mission uh, reward, if you will. Okay. There's some pretty good recruitment. Uh, when we need to go way down to help Gondor, we'll probably go with um, some ships through here. So we will hire a bunch of ships, a bunch of Polarin. Otherwise, it'll take us a millennia to go through here. So that is more than likely what we're going to end up doing. Um, so for the time being, let us get some crop rotation. Because crop rotation is incredibly strong. I mean, it's plus three to, to the food income, which will grow our settlement exponentially. Which will be perfect. Let's do that. Let's go over. I'd like to get some crop rotation and stuff in the other places too, in these other large towns, because we gotta get some decent large towns. He's got communal farming, so we'll be able to do crop rotation next. So for the time being, we'll keep that as is. And I would like in here. Um. So is it the Hall of Song we need to be able to start uh recruiting? No. So this this adds some free upkeep units though. So we will eventually do that. So militia armory, we're gonna do that as the next building there. These outposts kind of just need focus towards that. So this place, so we have no governor. We might need a culture increase, honestly, because we're not able to build a lot of the buildings right now. Might just be due to the size. I mean, the population is 168. Um, so let's check. So it's middlemen. I think it's it might be due to culture. We're definitely gonna do that real quick, and then I'll help with the public order and stuff, anyways. We may as well. Uh, all right, and then let's go to the next turn. That's just so crazy. Mordor is just destroying that side of the map. I really hope that Gondor isn't completely snuffed out. I hope we can help them reclaim some of their some of their spots. I'm not even going to try and take over much in that area. We might keep like, um, we might take one of the cities that were originally taken, um, just for the fact that to like build up and create Enemy a strong, yeah, we just resolve, whatever. We're going to be dead. We should man the oars and retreat. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I don't, I don't much care. The enemy fleet is upon us. That is yours, you need wave. All good. Uh, what was I saying though? Yeah. So. On the bottom right, kind of near like well, where Dol Amrith and their stuff was in the previous ones, their uh, their faction. In that area to like the right of Gondor and everything, I think is kind of where we're going to plan on keeping just one city, just as a base, to try and help them repel Mordor if we can help them reclaim, you know, Askeliath and all that. It's pretty ambitious though, because we're, right now the map is just being dominated by the evil side, which makes it really interesting. I've never had... A game that was just so, like, dark side favored. It's crazy. It's pretty. It's pretty fun though. I'm pretty excited about it. Get you in there. That'll boost. Trade rights, please. You hold us at ransom, and you know this. <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah. Um. Very well. What else do you have to suggest? Trade alliance. You hold us at ransom, and you know this. The trading in this is so strange, dude. That's so interesting. We hope for more fruitful parlay in future. I uh, we gave them like incredible things, and they're just like, you hold us at ransom. I mean, alliance only benefits both of us, trade rights only benefit both of us. Arid Loon, what do you want, my guys? We have a word for I am down with that. What can we, see? Well, we need, we kind of need to band together. 
Light side needs to band together hard. I, literally the only light side faction that isn't losing like hard right now, I think is Rohan and possibly the Woodland Elves, but I'm willing to bet seeing as Mordor is just moving out like crazy, that they're gonna start pressing on them very shortly. So, and honestly, they might not even be winning now because the Goblins of Moria kind of destroyed us over there. And so they're probably pressing on the, the Woodland Elves right now too. And it, it also, Cause of Doom, that part never got taken by the dwarves, didn't look like, when we were playing. Either it got taken uh, and then just taken right back by the goblins. The goblins just absolutely have been destroying in this one so far. So, let's see, Mr. and Besiege, crazy, crazy. Isles, Principality of Dual Amroth. Pay increase. That was probably just our trade person. He's already maxed out. So. Okay, so we got to figure out who we want to go have him talk to next. I mean, we could very well have him go and talk to Enid with. Hmm. So Enid Waith should be somewhere in this area over here. Cause I kind of I kind of want him to go talk to Enid Waith because I, I want to end this war if possible. We already have enough wars to kind of worry about. So let's see, where was where was that large Enid Waith town? There's an Enid Waith port, so let's just head in this direction. See what we see on our way there. Man, this is such intense <laughs> map music. I love it. Oh, man. Ah, they just never let up, do they? This is our last stand, my friends. You need to wait, just hates us, dude. This is crazy. It's like they've got to have a place right next to us, dude. It's just got to be right there. There's no way they don't. Alright, I'm hoping this stack is just the five stack we saw and they didn't add to it. If they did, I'm going to be like extra sad. Okay, Steward of Gondor is dead. Ooh, that's really not good. Suitable husband. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I'm always down. For another fellow. That'll be the, probably the lord of this other place now. Expanding, gotta get these new boards. Alright, so it doesn't look like they have a lord in it, so that's really good. So we could sally out. I think our best bet is to sally out with these units, probably. So this music is about to match, looks like, here soon. Path got blocked. Well, at least it's good to see a stack of Gondor. Like, oh my goodness. They're just falling apart. So what is it? That's so interesting. So allow this army to be controlled by AI, but if I undo this, I can't click command this army in battle. We're gonna go with that. Hopefully, that actually just like straight up allows us to command the army. Put them down. If it doesn't, we'll probably just reload like a save. If it goes badly, because we're not gonna let a <laughs> AI kind of decide a, this uh, crucial battle. 
Man, this this Enid Waith war is so slowing us down. It's slowing us down so hard, honestly. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So are we not allowed, um... Where's our other army, bro? Are they gonna come in as reinforcements? This is like mad spicy, dude. Okay, yeah, so they're coming in as reinforcements. So you guys can straight up just fire at will, brothers. Right when you get the option, just fire at will. We're gonna have to run these guys. Run it, boys. Got a nice little spear ball. This will hopefully hold for a little bit while these guys move through here. We're peppering them pretty nicely. This is a decent angle up on this hill, honestly, down to them. Let's see this pepper, dude. Yeah! Oh, we're hitting our own dudes. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, we'll, uh... If we don't pepper our own dude so much, we'll do that. These guys are going to be a little bit more tired because we're having them literally sprint the entire way over here. It's actually going pretty decently so far. They're not moving up super fast and our, uh, our archers are kind of helping that, honestly, quite a bit. Yeah, skirmish. Let's group these guys while we're at it. Right, let's take that. We'll do that. We don't really have a choice. Defeat seems almost certain. Yeah, yeah. Defeat seems almost certain. Oh no. What is uh? What is going on over here, boys? Can't see y'all in here. Oh no. Y'all are getting uh, gotten ripped up pretty hard. Let's pull you out into the open. It's not good. I don't want to get caught up by that. We gotta form up. We're gonna we're gonna form up back here. So let's see what's this unit. Let's form up on this hill right here. Move him right there. Run, boy, run. Oh, we gotta disable. No wonder he's so slow. Oh my goodness. Alright, this is such a bad fight, honestly, for us, dude. So far, anyways. Holy cow. Take the Mithlin Nobles. Get them right there. Do our Light of Elbereth on them. We'll cycle that with the other Light of Elbereth. Gotta get these guys, uh, these guys to break. Let's just get them real quick. And our Bobin are doing pretty good at holding. These guys should have this side. They're kind of just chilling right there. That's good. They're holding these guys back. And we can just pepper these guys. They don't really know what to do. Our They're getting shaken. Perhaps 
our chances of victory with it. We have other generals. That's, that sh really shouldn't affect anyone. Yeah, it's not. It's good. Shaken, not stirred. We're gonna get these guys just right here. We're gonna move these guys right here. Want them to have a little bit of a better angle. We're gonna get a spear ball right here. Time to rotate the light of Elberith. Let's get him firing. Well, actually, let's get that firing right there. Kind of just chilling over there. And I don't like that. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From well, yeah. Does victory Easy money. I mean, we're rotating this Elberith. Working super well. These guys are doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. Okay, and if they come here, we got our spear ball right here. We got some our, our Caliquindi. Or our no Mithlin Noble, that's right. Alright. This guy has a really bad angle. We're gonna move him over here. Yeah, mess him up, boss. Kinda wanna get rid of them. That's their general unit, I believe. That's why they're just holding it like that. Alright, let's change this dude to right here. They're going to be flanking him right there. Let's change that to right there. And so we should be able to do our Light of Elberith. Get some sweet bufferonis. Bufferoni pepperoni. I keep that going. I love the Elven faction, though. Man, this was such a crazy battle, honestly. Just to clarify, when I was talking about before about reloading, that was only if like only thing we'll we'll reload or like restart for um, on a previous save because I want to keep it like if we lose stuff, you know, we're gonna keep it lost. Like just like Elrond, you saw, I didn't reload, try and get him back or anything. Um, kind of the uh, the thought process behind uh, behind all that is uh, is if a bug happens, we're gonna reload because that's dumb. Um, or if just some stupid thing like, oh, that's actually, the AI will, you know, control this army. You know, I, don't, I don't really want our fate to be decided by some AI, if that was the thing. Nice, we got him. So, for the most part, as long as, you know, it's not some dumb circumstance. Like, even if, we, even if it's just bad luck and bad RNG, we're going to keep it. Because that's the fun of the game. So. We're gonna go in there because we're hardly gonna pepper these guys, and these guys don't take much from arrow damage, anyways. We don't have much piercing on these guys. So we're actually with these guys. We're gonna start peppering, uh. Pepping this. Or actually. Yeah, you know what? Those raiders are kinda just chilling. We could pepper these guys. No, we're gonna do these guys. These guys keep going in and out of shaking. We're gonna do that. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. There we go. Get them to come the over here. Is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. That is perfect. Get it going on that. Oh, actually, no, no, no. We'll, we'll get it on them. So, I love rotating the light of Elberth. It's so strong. These Mithlin nobles, though, dude, holding back an entire unit with. Like, what, 15 of them at the start? Absolutely disgusting, dude. So strong. We're gonna actually switch over to them. 
they're all routing. I switch to them. Switch to these guys. Gotta get them shaken, not stirred. The flank, let's go. All right, so we can light a Velberth again. These two brothers will conquer all. Can't be stopped, baby. Can't stop, won't stop. All right, let's see this pepper, dude. Pepper, I'm good, dude. Yeah, you you break, you break. See ya. So like, if any of them come back, I'm not worried. We're gonna disable that. We're actually gonna come over here. We're gonna get that one, cause that one's marching still. So we're we're gonna send these guys here, and if they come back, we'll just pepper them, cause we have a lot of ammo with this unit. Let's see, these guys are out. We're just gonna charge in. Gonna get them out of there. So you think we got another one? Yep. Okay, they're coming back. Time to break them again with a nice little pepper. Yeah, let's see that volley. Come on, come on. This will be the one that breaks them. Oh, come on. One more. One more before they get you. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Okay, there we go. Let's get some. Let's get some levels off peppering them down. Oh, I just love that. Look at that. It's dropping. Oh. How beautiful is that, dude? How beautiful. We really need some cav for these battles so we can actually run them down like just hyper level some cav. Oh. Peppering them, dude. I love archers. Archers are definitely my favorite part of uh, Medieval 2. Archers are just generally so underwhelming in most of the other like um, Medieval type, not Medieval, um, Warhammer games and different stuff like that. All the other Total Wars, if you will. Some of them are pretty fun, but just like the, the balance of holding the lines and, I don't know, just the... A lot more siege type instead of just quick like over real quick you just run through it's over in a charge I, I like the the way they balance it in this game for sure and I think that's about all we're gonna get out of them so we'll exit here we by the let's let's look at this let's look at the battle statistics then casualties sustained let's see who inflicted the most the Dunedain bodyguards on both definitely inflicted a lot the Dunedain bodyguards are so good dude for these guys. They're such small units, but they inflict so much. It's incredibly, you know, incredibly good units ranged. Super, super strong early game. Look at that. And we'll, we'll probably offer Ransom. I don't really see a reason why not. Alright, Ransom. We're not gonna get. Actually, no, we're gonna execute. Gotta send him a message. It's not worth 300. <laughs> we really need to be able to train units in Buzzard Doom so bad, though. Like, holy cow. We're gonna need to get the. What's it called? A lot different. The uh, population's uh, culture. A lot different, though. Anyways, though. I think that is where we'll end the episode for today. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. And we will pick up right away on the next one. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.